All right, we're going to get the answer. We're going back in the steamies. Gonna ask the question that everybody wants to know. I'm actually freezing right now. All right, all right. Show, us what, come on, show us what you got. Come on. Right. Okay, there you go. Steam meat, boiled meat, any meat that's cooked with any water near it, except shrimp and lobster. Was it simply time to go? They've yeah. been here for 200 years. You know, we just wanted to do this re this reverse loop through Telluride, through uh, through URA, through Silverton, and um, yeah, and we're gonna start heading back. This part of New Mexico, right outside of Taos, could be so beautiful. 9980, 9990. Oh, it's going to be a minute more. 10,000 feet, Ken. All right, 10,000 feet. We're going to turn the seatbelt sign off. But remember to keep yourself a seatbelt on just in case we're hitting some unexpected turbulence. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're, uh, j we're over 10,000 feet right now and look how beautiful with all of the aspen and evergreen. And by the way, happy Father's Day to all you fabulous fathers out there, including this one. This is a first for us. Uh, we used to carry the Blackstone and love the Blackstone, uh, but even in the fifth wheel, we took it out just because of space and whatnot. We certainly can't carry it here, so we've kind of improvised. Um, and what we've got going, I'll show you, is I got a lodge pan and uh, just put it on the Weber. And I'm going to get the one that's a rectangle. This is a this is a round one. But it kind of gives the same function. I would probably use a little bit more gas because you're having to heat up the Weber plus then the, the lodge. But there is a lodge pan that is basically a rectangle like this. And I'm going to uh, try and find that one somewhere. And I think that'll cover the whole the whole piece of it. And that would be great. And we can use that in uh, the uh, rear kitchen in the lens, which we haven't used yet just because of the quick disconnect is hard to connect. But I'm going to try this. We're going to do some bacon and eggs on the lodge pan on the Weber. With all, you know, just gotta be, uh, you just gotta improvise here a little bit. So today we're going to tell you ride, and then we're going to do the million dollar highway from Uray, which is a little bit worrisome, but we're going to do it the reverse way, so we're on the mountain side, not the cliff side. Call me chicken, but I want to definitely see it. I just don't want to do it from the way that you normally see it, and that is the cliff side. Sorry, I'm not going to hold this thing because the little clip to hold this in is broken. But anyway, we're excited about that. So we're going to do the outer loop. We'll show that on Google Maps. And uh, yeah, it should be interesting to uh, drive uh, leaving from Durango. And they say that Telluride is beautiful. Uray is beautiful. And uh, looking forward to it. It's pretty much an all-day trip. And, uh, so we're going to see some beautiful scenery. And try and keep the truck on the road. All right, so we're making our way up to Telluride here. And... Uh... It's been a great drive. It's Highway 145 up from Durango to Dolores. This is the, uh, the kind of the other way around um, to Uray. Uh, so we'll take the Million Dollar Highway the other way. But we came across this little pullout area, and I just got to tell you, it's spectacular. I'm actually freezing right now. 
There must be a bunch of moles or something here. Uh, yeah, it's freezing. Actually, not now it's nice because the wind's not blowing. Ooh, but then the wind kicks in. What is that? Uh, Sheephead, Sheephead Mountain? Yeah. yeah I, honestly, I'm not sure where. You can just see it's, it's kind of cool um, in that you get you see some of that smooth slope and then it gets real jagged up top. And then this mountain, this mountain back here is kind of cool because the snow, I'm not sure you can see it, the snow is like a belt on the top of it as well. So Mika's is loving this, and it's cold, and I didn't bring his hoodie. It's about watch, sixty degrees up yeah, here. Yeah, my watch says seventy, but no, I it's don't, not. Yeah. That can't be right. Oh, now it does. Yeah, it's about sixty up here, but it's a little For, windy. Until you're right, hopefully it's a little, little less windy. I think we're gonna both have to invest in a uh, jacket, <laughs> warm, warm weather clothes, and that's some guys fishing down there as well. Anyway, what a beautiful meadow! This is just outstanding. So, so about twenty more miles yeah. to tell you right, so we're gonna go hit it. have some basic burgers at Steamy's Burgers and so you know we're kind of on the street which is yeah it's okay but yeah. the but if but, you look if you look at what we're looking at though yeah the view is just incredible there's a waterfall up on that mountain so uh, we're kind of at the beginning and uh, we had to drive all the way through the town trying to find a parking space and came all the way back around to the beginning beginning of the town again and got a parking spot so it is crowded these little houses are really really cute that are here but what did you find one that was two bedroom well <laughs> yeah it was it's two bedroom two bath um what was it 1200 square, square feet, feet. Yeah. And it was 3.4 million dollars very reasonable and uh, the the homes along this main road through the downtown area six million oh that wasn't even on the main road no oh, was that was that was off the beaten path as they say so I'm sure you can get away from this and get a little more reasonable, but that's pretty unreasonable. All right, and this is uh, this is what fifty eight dollars in two burgers and two drinks, two French fries costs. Tell you right. Tell you right. But again, look, look at the view. Yeah, yeah. You're looking at a waterfall. Yeah, and the burgers are huge. So I will say that. So uh, I got the Yeti, and you got the Steamy, which is the their basic burger I got that. and I asked for no cheese but yeah well you got cheese extra cheese and I got extra french fries that I didn't order but apparently I did so anyway gonna eat this stuff and then we're gonna walk around town I'm digging in <laughs> <laughs> the burgers looked really good but there was something different about them we just couldn't put our finger on well we clearly picked the wrong burger place because we just walked past the place <laughs> which burgers look phenomenal actually it looked like real hamburgers because the place we ate at, they are in Colorado. It could have been, they had Beyond Beef on the on the, re, on the menu. Maybe they ran out of real beef and they just substituted Beyond Beef, which is beyond me, why they it, would do it, that. It just didn't look right. It didn't right look right, didn't, didn't have the texture, didn't have the flavor, didn't have that charred look. That and just, place had a good looking Just for the hell of it, we may have to go back and have another burger at this place just to kind of test the two, so. Anyway, so if you are in Telluride, what, what's the name of this other place? Don't, uh, that I'm not sure. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll put that, we'll, uh, we'll put that in a link here, but um, I would Flora definitely. Floridora. 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 Yeah. I would, I would, without even eating it don't go versus to, the other ones. Don't go to Steamy's. Maybe it was called Steamy's because they steamed the meat. Oh, I didn't oh. think about it. That's was. what it was. See, we That's were so gross. hungry, we didn't even think about it. That's who steams hamburgers. And it was weird. It was just so weird. Anyway, so we'll. Uh, Mika liked mine. Yeah, she liked anything. But <laughs> all right, so we may have to get another burger someplace to get a real burger. 
All right, we're going to get the answer. We're going back in the steamies. Going to ask the question that everybody wants to know. Here we go. We got our answer. Was I right? Was I right? I think I was right. Pam guessed it. They <laughs> steam their hamburgers. Why? Did they say why? I didn't ask. I just, I, I was, I had this look of shock on my face. They actually, they weren't bad. They just didn't have, they just didn't have the burger taste. You know, it didn't, didn't have that. You so, know, I, I prefer open flame burgers. She prefer. You probably prefer. I, I like them. Riddle. Yeah. Like a, you know, like press really flat. But either way, you get that cooked taste. Not. But less. Sorry. Go ahead. No, not that the burger <laughs> wasn't cooked. It was cooked. It was just steamed. But lesson learned because we were so hungry, we kind of just ate at the first place that we saw. Uh, lesson learned. Next time we'll, we'll look at some reviews and uh, do some investigation. Well, we, we, we said when we parked, said I, I can just go for a burger. You know, I just feel like having a burger. And this is the first burger place we came to. And it's the last burger place we'll <laughs> go back to. So, it actually wasn't bad. I just don't. I'm not a fan of steamed meat, uh, boiled meat, any meat that's cooked with any water near it, except shrimp and lobster. All right, heading back to the truck. It's on the URA. Yay! All right. That was a quick visit to Uray. Um, yeah, cute, cute little town. I mean, um, trying to figure out, like, tell you where I definitely more touristy. This is touristy, but I think here you see a lot of razors, a lot of Jeeps, and it's probably because you've got Imogene Pass, you've got Black Bear Pass, you've got, what was the other pass? There's another one that oh, gosh, you could, they wouldn't let you on there. So I think it's more of that. <laughs> tell your eye just is, seems to be more just the natural beauty as well. And obviously, okay. Telluride is a ski, uh, ski place, and yeah. this is not a ski place. So this this reminds me of maybe Moab, but not in the desert. Yeah, and and with uh, like outdoor activity. Yeah, and you got Red Rocks too, which also have just the kind of the nice. silver granite. So, anyway, I debated. There's a brewery here. I debated whether I was going to have a beer before I did uh, the uh, Million Dollar Highway. Decided against it. You, that's probably a good thing. I, I, I know. And uh, just want to check my knuckles now. They fully colored. <laughs> and uh, let's hope they don't turn white. We are going what we believe is the easier way. Because um, we're going to be mountainside to our right uh, and not the cliffside. So, but that may not be the way the whole way. So we'll just have to figure it out. But um, we should get some good footage. And I told I told our friends that we decided to take uh, Imogene Pass on in the, the truck in the Super Duty. <laughs> yeah. yeah, never to be heard from again. Yeah. All right, so let's go. I think there's a beautiful vantage point as soon as you can go out of your right here that you look down in the town. So we'll see if we can uh, stop there, get some footage of it, and then uh, make the trek. It's 65 miles of sheer terror back to Alpen Rose. So so <laughs> I'm curious, anyone that's been to your right? What did you guys do when you were here? Did you rent razors and you know go to uh, all these passes, or did you hike, or kind of like what? What does everybody do? Yeah, like? I guess if you stayed here, then I'm sure there's tons of stuff to do. We're just you know we just wanted to do this re this reverse loop through Telluride, through uh, through Ure, through Silverton, and um, yeah, and we're gonna start heading back now. So yeah, yeah, let us know uh, what you did while you were here. And because uh, we'd love to come back, I mean, there's you know, just the the drive around so far today is beautiful. We'd love to come back uh, to do other things, and um, but let's get back to where we're staying okay. now. Stay okay, let's go. Let's do it.
that's where we're going. We're headed to Chimney Rock and I'm excited. We did a Chimney Rock in North Carolina years ago. And uh, this one is in Colorado and looks looks quite a bit different. This is, yeah, this is actually a lot different. There's, there's a lot of history relative to the Pueblo Indians and the Chaka, I think the Chaka Indians. Are Chaka Khan. Well, we've never seen this in national monuments before. I may have them. Uh, this is not a national park, it's a national monument at Chimney Rock. But they have kennels and uh, we read about that. I thought it was like and a camel. And it's free. It's so free, it's yeah. Fantastic. We thought it was a building. It's not, but they have these in the shade. And I know what you're thinking, you know, this is not fair to make. Uh, we thought about it. The, uh, yeah. the the rangers that are just about, I don't know, 50 yards away or so, dog lovers, and uh, said they will check on her. And um, this is this is them, by the way. So we're not crazy about it. I know we're gonna get comments from people about what are you doing to make what are you doing to make but um, we she can't go up the top. She can go up there and have to sit in a truck, which would be probably worse just because it'd be so hot and it's windy and dusty. Um, and it's in the shade here. Pam's gonna give her some water. Yeah. And uh, should I lock you in there too or no? No, no, no I shouldn't do that. Yeah, I need the water though. That'd, that'd be bad for that'd be bad for the marriage. But um, so we'll put that'd her in be here. Pretty bad. Yeah, we're gonna go up to the top and it's an interesting place. So I will give you a little more detail at the top, but this is an ancient Pueblo uh, place as part of the Chaco Canyon people. And um, it was started about 925 AD and then they fled in 1100 AD. And we'll show you some of the uh, the artifacts they have found. So should be kind of uh, kind of curious, but I know Mika's not gonna like this. It's only gonna be about an hour or so. So it shouldn't be too bad. And she's already looks like she's found a place. So. Um, we'll be back, okay? All right, so let's go to the top. In order to see the ancient structures, you take a two mile drive up a steep and windy gravel road. So going up this mountain is not bad at all, but coming down will be interesting because it's, well, there's basically no uh, shoulder and it's a major drop off on a lot of the points, but um, they didn't tell us about any, you know, accidents so we should be good. get Mika's reaction. You have to hurry. Yeah, look at her. She's uh, looking at us. She's, like, she's like, what are you doing? Get out of the truck. Come get me. Let's go. Let's see how she reacts. I think we kind of know. I just feel like it's so cool. Mm -hmm. Come on, come, come on. on. There we come go. On. Oh, good girl. How's oh, it going, girl? Come on, come on, come on, good girl. Oh, it's a good girl. What are you doing in there, boy? Ever been the truck? She's like. That was a pretty mild reaction. I would have thought we'd got yeah. a whole bunch of yelping and howling and crying. Well, she. she Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. 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 Come on
<laughs> she just wants in the truck. She's like, you're not leaving me again. Let's get her inside. All right, so our stay here at Alpine, Alpen, Alpen Rose? Alpen Rose. Alpen Rose is over. Great place, we really enjoyed it, really enjoyed the area. Uh, only downside about the park, uh, at least for the site we're in. Yeah, he said two sites. There's two sites. <laughs> we, have, we happen to have one of them where uh, the sewer is uphill. So you notice we're actually at the dump, dumping because the sewer was uphill. So we uh, couldn't, didn't want to take a chance. We tried doing it and man, stuff was just collecting. So we pack it up, came back down here and now I got to pack it up, hit the road. So yeah, Alpen Road is a great place. See the mountains in the background. Um, like we may have a little rain yeah. still. So let's, uh, let's go. We wrap up our time in Durango and we hit the road headed to Denver to visit our daughter and our son-in-law. 